aesthetics. Yeah. And I, and I'm a, I am a big I am a big believer at some stage where if you if you look good you'll feel good. Yeah. And amazing. that look good is a spectrum again. Yeah. I think there's there is some negative things that come out of the show yeah. with how people are trying body to, image body image is massive it's thing huge, the show. isn't it? Yeah. So like body dysmorphia for, yeah. even for guys and and mm. that must be it might, you must have seen it playing on some guys' minds. I it played on my mind. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like I obviously knew. I'm not. I knew I was getting. I don't want to say big. I wasn't big by any means. Of the day, but I knew I'd put on fat. I was. I think all of us were. Oh, well, some of the boys got skinnier because they were losing muscle because they weren't working out enough, and some of us put on timber because we also weren't. <laughs> yeah, working out enough or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we probably still eat, as you say. You kind of get used to what you're eating, don't you? So you still eat the same amount, but you're not doing as much. Obviously, mm. bloody uh, calorie deficits, et cetera, et cetera. Weight loss, we could talk about that all day as well. But it, it, you've got to put on weight. If you're not, if you're eating more than you're burning, you're going to put on weight, basically. And that was happening. So it was like on your mind a little bit. Um, but yeah, as you say, I think it's still, it's not, it's not an issue. Weight fluctuates Yeah, throughout your life. You'll go up it'll come down if you put the work in you know that, yeah. that's the way it is what's, what's your view on uh, body image in the show uh, oh uh, mate uh, and the experience I got in or... a bit of trouble for some of this stuff when I was in there because I said I I were, I phrased it wrongly and I don't think the edit helped me because I said I didn't like fake yeah um, with relation to speaking about girls so for me I was talking about personality and a body I suppose so yeah. both the edit but that was over like an hour and a half quiz but the edit made it down into like yeah, we'll 40 seconds bit, yeah. so apparently i said fake fake i don't like this i don't know a lot a lot a lot um because on that you haven't watched the show people should know like you haven't actually watched the no, show. no i, I you haven't mentioned that before i we haven't started recording. the show I, d I took a lot of l's on there and i just don't, i lived it so i don't feel the need to rewatch yeah. it um and obviously the reaction within the villa was very negative so i only saw what i said it was negative so i got really upset because not only because I thought I well because I hurt my friends yep. they got really upset so I was like oh like, I never <laughs> wanted to hurt you I didn't mean you know I was never was never sending malicious content I was generally gutted that I'd hurt people I care about um I think I apparently outside the villa there was different reactions some people were like oh everyone's allowed their preferences it's like saying you don't like blondes or you don't like brunettes or you don't like guys with blue eyes or brown eyes or whatever. Some saw it similar to that. Some people obviously did think it was wrong, but it just highlights the body image thing, isn't it? Yeah. Some people, there are people, there's so much issues with body image these days because some people really struggle with it. Some people don't. Some people don't understand why people do change or do one out and some people do understand it. And there's so much, but I, th I think the good thing is that everyone's so open to it now. Like you just do you, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. Yeah. Who, what, my, 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 like, my opinion doesn't matter. I'm just no one saying what I like. It yeah. Like... My, my only issue with it when I see, and this comes, honestly, it comes in professional athletes as well. It ultimately comes back from where you're, and um, I've done a previous podcast on this on goals and expectations, mm. and ultimately understanding where your motivations are. Yeah. Now you, you have two types of motivation, which is intrinsic Intrinsic. And extrinsic. extrinsic. And there's nothing wrong with having extrinsic motivations because going for status, fame, maybe money, we need money to live. Yeah. But ultimately, there are external motivations that you can have and get trying to achieve those is not a negative thing because we all want recognition in the tribe yeah. of us and society. We want to know that we're doing a good job. We want yeah. to know that we're going in the right direction. The problem that happens, and I see this more, is that we only throw our motivations in the external bucket. Yeah. We're, we're believing that in order to be more, I need to do, do more. more yeah. I, I, I no longer am me and I need to become something else. I'm not enough as I am. Yeah. The trick and the skill is in balancing the two, Both, yeah. is in having the internal and external. So understanding like I'm going on Love Island for not only, yes, I recognize that I'm going to get some fame and people are going to see me, but there's a purpose behind what I'm doing, which yeah. is to promote the cause, the 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 community that I can represent. Present, yeah, that is an internal motivation, and I will feel good about myself for doing that by becoming that. So, and I may become uh, a higher status in that community to do it, which again isn't a wrong thing because no. you can build on that purpose. Yeah. 
But the, the challenge we have, and the thing you see is when people, and young people especially, that, that get affected by it, is they're like, shoot, in order for me to be enough, I need to do, do this. Do this, do that. And, and that's not the case. Meet this goal. Yeah. Fit this stereotype, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so it's, it's, and it's, it's tough because of media and yeah. trying to sell a show. You need to have the conflicts. You need to have the yeah. negative. We know negative media sells more. Yeah. And I think that's where the the important stuff can be away from it on the influencer, the social medias where people like yourselves can show like, this is who I am. Yeah. This is having conversations like this. This is genuinely who I am and this yeah. is the person I am. Yeah, definitely. And I have the issues that you have. Don't worry yeah. about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you, it's real. Yeah. So you don't have to achieve this in order to be enough. Yeah. I think that's 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 something I've I've always felt with the show is, is where people mis maybe misinterpret it. From, yeah. from outside yeah definitely and I think you know I said this before it's a 40 minute show out of a 24 hour day the stuff so that's not there there's some stuff I'm, I'm not going to spoil I'm not no spoilers here but as you say as I said to you if you're on a show for 8 weeks 6 to 8 weeks however long it is um, you're going to have good days you're going to have bad days you're going to have good moments you're going to have bad moments no one goes 2 months squeaky clean without mm. You know, drifting from a, what they're doing or who they are, or whatever. That's just not human. Yeah. And a reminder that everyone on the show is human because mm. some people get way too, like, like you know, it's like we're just blokes and girls. Yeah. Going out for a summer of sun. You know, I COVID hit two years. I hadn't been traveling. I had this opportunity to come up, spend a summer in the sun in a multi-million pound thing in Mallorca. What twenty? three-year-old's going to say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Sign me up. Get me yeah. there. So, you know, I think and then a lot of the humans are, you know, we speak about you know, trolling, let's say. Yeah. And like, have, you exper have you experienced oh, some yeah, of this coming Yeah, I've coming had, out? yeah, death threats a lot. Wow. Maybe people, yeah, people are savage. I, one really sticks out with me. It was death, like, death threats? Yeah, what? being like, wow. Like one really like resonated with me. I, I don't look at them much, a lot of my message requests, because, and I, so for example, I'm not on Twitter. Yes, I think okay. Twitter is a toxic black hole of emptiness yeah. filled with keyboard warriors who need to sort themselves out, basically. So I'm nowhere near that. I dread to look on it. If you searched Hugo Hammond Love Island on Twitter, I bet it's vulgar. I bet it's vile. Mm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put myself through it. But why I went into the end was like, uh, I'll try and leave out the expletives. It's like, you are a waste of, space and um thank you for my summer and i want you to die and oh. like it's like if i see you blah, 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 blah. it's like mate <laughs> i don't know why i'm so rattled I, I literally i am harmless yeah harmless just a bloke that went on a tv show and it's like all this stuff and it's just like pff, whoa so, so how do you combat that like because there's that's it's, it's a huge thing so i go back to friends and family yeah okay. so as i say i'm because i've got a very supportive group of mates and family the only opinions i really care about are theirs mm. if they think i'm starting to drift from who i am then i'd be concerned and i'd start to really think about it but have you spoken to them about it like have you openly said like i get these messages and um my mates know because they read them while i was in the villa as well yeah okay because there were so many that I didn't see because I was away. But Instagram, you can filter words now. You can right. filter loads of stuff. So I've got loads that are filtered. Um, there was one, you didn't watch the show, there was one moment in the villa where I stood up for a girl uh, in there because um, a guy chose someone else, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really matter. But apparently pff, my DMs after that were disgusting. Apparently it was... So after every mo a move that you would make, it would fluctuate yeah. the input. Yeah, well, there was loads of love in. for that because it was a, it was a controversial and with controversy. Some people love it, some people hate it. Yeah. So there was loads of love um, for that, but I think there was equally as much hate. Wow. Um, and people are... Uh, the world I found is people are a lot more giving of hate than love. Do you know what I mean? So if you say I really like someone and like, uh, like I think someone's amazing, you know... Or say, not me, so let's say someone externally, they're much easier keyboard warrior and say, I hate this guy, than keyboard warrior and say, oh, you're a great bloke. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's so true, actually. I, I, there's so many things that I've been doing, even with this show, for example, uh, people that I bump into and go, I listened to this podcast and I heard that episode and I absolutely loved it. 
and I'm like, thank you for letting me know. Like, but people don't do it enough, though. They don't do it enough. No, like they don't tell you you're doing a good job. You're doing it, and and ultimately, I would say is my. I just need to know. I yeah, just need to know I'm nice. going in the right. It's not. Nice, it's that it? recognition yeah. I was talking to about. You want to know you're going in the right direction, and if I'm not going in the right direction. You can at least tell me to shift from it. You can at least be constructive with it and not tell you to go and effing die or whatnot, you know? Yeah. Like, And I think, as you say, people are not easier to tear. If you do something, it does slip up or you have a little bit of a shocker, people are more likely to tear you down than if you have like a great moment, yeah. then like lift you up. I think that's really sad. Yeah. But for me as well, a lot of these, these accounts are people with like a race car as a profile picture or like a... Yeah. football player they like and they'll have like zero posts zero followers and they'll follow like a thousand people and i can imagine their fun is just sending these messages to all these people they follow or whatever just yeah, because they get a kick out it. of it and that's why i think with twitter i think you need passport ver verification for social media because then you can track them down i think yeah. that's the only real solution 